I have a confession to make. I have not watched mainstream media for many months. <laughs> and my life is so much better. <laughs> so much better. And I know that sounds like a tricky little what? What are you talking about? And I'll tell you. And I'm not going to get into, you know, the weeds. But I'm just going to put a little few little scatter a few seeds out there. Take them and let them take root if you want. Or plow them up and keep going. First of all, Phyllis Moore here, Philosophically Speaking. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Please click like, share, subscribe. I will tell you, media hound. I mean, I would play all kinds of pop culture, trivia, all this kind of stuff. And I wanted to know everything that was going on. I'm, I'm just, you know, nosy that way. And also, I'm interested. You know, I don't want a lot of bad news, but I think we need to understand what's going on in the world around us. You know, and now as I get older and wiser, I realize just how much stuff connects. You know, we're all connected. You are the United States where all these states are connected in some way, shape or form. We are also ripple effect across the pond and connected to other continents and, and, and cultures, etc. But anyway, what I was going to say is that because I had worked in media, radio, TV, newspaper, journalism, magazines, ad agencies, you know, whatever. I, I had a kind of a cross, you know, um, circuitous route of those. And, you know, you think you know stuff. You do, you know, but sometimes you can be in the tunnel vision and you see what you want to see. You know, you stay in your lane. And there were things that I, I didn't know a lot about, didn't claim to know a lot about, sometimes didn't care to know a lot about. There were things that I particularly enjoyed that I did get to cover, that I did get to write about, and not the least of which was features. I mean, I tried to be very, very accurate and very, very impartial and very neutral and to the point that it probably kept me from, from knowing as many things as I wanted or needed to know to coexist, to, yeah, exist in this world. But in my job, I was, I was very focused on what I was good at, what my strengths were, and I tried to enhance those. Tried to be very accurate, tried to get the information, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I was not this investigative, you know, and I definitely, absolutely, unequivocally was not a sensational, you know, put out, put out whatever's out there, you know, whether it's true or not. That would never happen. It mattered to me to be honest, to be accurate, to be representative, and to, to give the truth, to give people the truth. Now, saying that, I also watched, you know, a lot of TV news. You know, I wanted to know what was going on. I wanted to know what they were saying. I especially liked the, like the, you know, I, we didn't have a TV station where I lived most recently, but I would watch, you know, the bigger, the bigger networks. Or, well, not network news, but um, like local-ish, if you will, an hour away, which would encompass our community as well. Certainly, if there was a big crime or a big, you know, event going on or something, you know, you see that in the feature part of it. That was always good. Always, you know, enjoyed Good Morning America, especially on the weekends because I was usually home, and The View, because I had been to The View once before when it first started out and stuff. So, I would record shows like that, and I would watch them, and blah, 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 blah. But, in light of all that's going on in our world, and I'm not going to get, you know, into, into somebody else's business, but there's a book now by Janine, per, 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 oh gosh, Judge Janine, anyway, and it's called Don't Lie to Me. And when I first saw it, I thought she was just, you know, talking about, you know, I don't like it when people lie to me. None of us do. Do you like it when people lie to you? No. Do you like it when anybody lies to you? You should say no. Whether it's a family member, a spouse, a friend, a neighbor. Do you like it when anybody lies to you? Well, that's, as I'm reading her book, I'm like, oh my gosh, you are reading my mail. Because she's talking about all the things that are going on out there that people, and I've, I've seen this since I stopped working, retired from that job. I don't want anybody to know I was ever in media because I am so ashamed and so outraged that people 
They're just looking right at the camera and lying to our faces, people. They are lying to our faces. And I didn't know this. And it hurts my heart. It hurts my feelings. I want to trust people. I want to trust people are telling us this, the truth. And it's almost like they've all give, been given the same script and they're going to look at that camera and act like that is they're going to sell it. They're going to make that the truth. It's not the truth. It is not the truth. It is a lie. Whether it's, there, there's nothing. There's nothing they're telling us that's the truth. The, you know, the political issues that are going on, the, the reasons it's going on, what's really happening, the health and the climate. I'm sorry, I, I'm not going to get into it, but let's just say, whatever happened to flu? There's suddenly no flu this flu season? Suddenly nothing? I, I, I'm not going to get into all that because I have told you I'm not going to be, you know, controversial, Phyllis, but I can be and I certainly have opinions. But is anybody telling us the truth? Can we trust anybody? I feel like I'm in the movie No Way Out. And if you haven't seen that with Kevin Costner... Who, oh gosh, oh I can't think of the other guy's name that, that's in it. Such a, oh Gene Hackman, such a good movie. But by the end of that movie, you're going, oh my gosh, there's not a single soul that you can trust. And I don't want to say that. I don't want to, you know, have, you know, conspiracy theories abounding and have you go, she is wackadoodle. I mean, I trust my husband that, you know, I kind of have my circle of people and stuff and you kind of know who you can talk to and who you can't and, and various things. But sometimes you just sit there when I'm reading this, this book and I'm like, oh my gosh, she is seeing what I am seeing. Thank you, Judge Janine, for putting that book out in 2020. How appropriate, because it's, it's right on the money. But I have stopped watching Good Morning America. I have stopped watching all local and national news entities. The View, oh my gosh, I can't stand to watch these mad women that they're just angry. They're just angry and there's no, there's no other point of view. That's what I find, you know, and I thought that was the reason for the show so that we could have different points of view and hear, no, and, you know, I don't want to be canceled. I don't want to, have, you know, have people go, oops, you don't, you don't believe like I do and you don't agree with me. So, because I spent my entire career dealing with people that may or may not have the same vantage point as me. They may have a different opinion than I do, but I listened and I wrote it down and I reported it and I learned. I learned from diversity. I learned from different socioeconomic you know, gender, race, religion, whatever. I learned. And I'm just dismayed that people don't want to learn from one another anymore. We're scared. Are we scared? Are we scared of each other because we don't know what to do with a different opinion? All I know is I've had to go to other sources and other directions to try to seek the truth. But you know, I'm going to segue into my whole philosophical um, aspect because that is a microcosm of faith as well. You know, there's lots of faith beliefs out there. There's lots of things. I'm not going to tell you what to believe. I'm just going to tell you in my lane that I have found that the God of the universe, the God that made the universe, and the Bible is my manual, if you will, and I am trying to seek the truth. I'm trying to seek the truth of what feels comfortable and what is a lifestyle for me, which is how I have patterned my life after Jesus and his model of loving other people, loving God, you know, treating people well, treating people with respect and being forgiving and kind and loving and trying to help one another and love one another and, and all of those tenets. Um, it's tough. It is very, very tough seeking the truth, finding the truth, knowing and believing the truth. But I wish you well on that endeavor because ultimately we need to be comfortable in that realm and not allow anyone to lie to us. And there's a, there was a book, I think Judge Judy wrote, I wonder all these judges, but Judge Judy wrote it, uh, TV judges, but anyway, um, and it was something about don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. Just saying, <laughs> just saying, come on, trust yourself that you are a human being with a brain and a heart and the ability 
to seek and find and discern truth. And don't just be sold a bill of goods. You know, I, it's heartbreaking and it's sad, but we deserve to have the truth and to know what sources will give it to us. Ponder that. Anyway, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. More later. Bye.